And hey folks, how you doing? Dirty back with you as we continue our Let's Play of Hero You. Uh, it is the day after uh, we had our day off. We found out that Esme did not do so well on the test. She's been discouraged. Uh, we're getting Thomas to help her though. Uh, right now it's the it's getting towards the end of the day. Uh, we have 12 uh, Lyra or Lyra. So I want to get enough to buy the last piece of the school uniform, which is the shirt. So uh, if we can kill a few drats uh, to get that, that would be awesome. Also, I have noticed that uh, our hit points didn't fully recover. So maybe uh, if we're planning to do this, in the future, we should go see Moira and get ourselves healed up uh, before we head down to the dungeon. I guess it's a way to discourage you from going coming down like every day. Okay, so we oiled up this gate last time. I'm going to actually save it here, sell around two. Works for me. Um, just in case there's like drats on the way back and we suddenly die. Okay, so this is a completely new room for us. Let's see. Okay, so there's a drat. Dire rat. I'm kind of hoping that, uh, I'm not hoping I'm one. Ooh, this may not go well. Especially if we miss like that. Maybe we'll see a death scene this episode. Uh, planting blow. Fence increased. We dead. We dead. Direct defeated Sean O'Connor. Uh, yeah. Well, we get to see a death scene. Oh, Myra is admonishing us. You're lucky that Gregor rescued you from the wine cellar when he did. The drats almost killed you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna reload that. So, I wonder if there, there is permanent death in this. Like, I'm so used to the old Sierra adventure games, like, literally doing their best to uh, try and kill you. Um, we had a couple of big misses last time too, so hopefully... Oh, that, was, that was a big hit. Eight damage. So hopefully... There we go. We're doing a little bit better this time. They had a miss this time. Our combat went up. But we are super hurting. So uh, hopefully there's no more drats in this room. Uh, there we go. Nothing but fleas. Table with barrels. Stack of barrels. Chairs. There's a nest. We know that Sean doesn't like sticking his hand. It's a pile of junk. Let's take a look at that. Look at the junk. Hey, housekeeping! What are you going to do about this? I guess nothing. Uh, maybe we could use a visit from some sort of space janitor by the name of Roger Wilco. Sift through to the junk. I'm not using my hands. I'll just push it around with my foot. Yeah, there's a reason why all this was thrown away, or thrown on the garbage heap at least. Okay, so nothing there. Just want to look at this door. I wonder if this comes out the tasting room. Uh, let's just look at the gate. Examine the gate. This gate is made of rusted wrought iron and looks heavy and solid as all the other gates. It's locked. Listen at the gate. Can't make out any noises. Uh... Oh, we'll oil the hinges. Okay. And then the next time that we come down... So, yeah, I'm going to run back uh, to Gregor. Uh, mostly because I think we have enough uh, cash now. And also due to the fact that uh, we can only take a couple more hits before getting knocked out. And we saw what happens there. We get admonished by Myra. Or Moira. So, uh, we'll do this. Plus, curfew is coming up very soon. Again, at some point in the game, uh, I do want to maybe, like, sneak out in the middle of the night and check out what's going on. Alright. Gregor, my friend. Uh, salute. Shop at the store. Uh, we also want to have, like, uh, 20 of these at the end of the week so we can play the card game with our fellow students. We didn't have enough last week, and I think that's like a major opportunity for us to socialize. All right, we are decked out. 
We do know that one of our classmates has some fine leather pants, just our size, though, uh, for sale. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's like, I'm going to buy these pants for Sean. He can show off his assets. He's concerned about my assets for some reason. Okay. How's your relationships going? Uh, Esme, still an acquaintance. Turk, still an enemy. Librarian, acquaintance. Uh, we're a friend with the cook. That's great. Uh, he's an acquaintance. We didn't really help him out with his uh, j uh, relationship with Sophia, so I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. Uh, Katie, still an acquaintance. We'll see. We'll see. For the most part, uh... Like, I don't know if relationships can go down, if you can do something to make them angry at you. I'm trying to avoid that, though. We're a, uh, we're a charming fellow, or at least we try to be. Charm is at 40. So, uh, trying to, trying to keep that up. Uh, can we see if Esme is maybe studying with Thomas? Uh, knock at the door. What is it? Uh, would you like to like to do something? Yeah, go to sleep. Okay, never mind. Just trying to be sociable. Uh, open the door. Uh, no, dude's just sleeping. Okay. Nothing new on his desk. Nothing new on my bed. Let's just go to sleep then. Z. As I was saying, I expect that you have your lockpicks by now, and you have read the manual upon the usage. That is only the first step towards mastery of the lockpick. It takes practice to do this smoothly and quickly. Remember, the locker room is open for practice. The easiest locks are on the table. If you cannot open the locks, you had better spend the rest of the class practicing till you acquire the knack. Any questions? Um, that's for a demonstration. Are you going to demonstrate how to use the lockpicks? No, watching someone pick a lock is about as enlightening as watching someone write a letter in order to learn how to write. The only way to learn is by doing it yourself. I'll give you this opportunity now to improve your lockpicking skills. Use the time wisely. And if you're taking an elective class, you have to get to your next classroom by 3 this afternoon. Haven't done any of the electives. Uh, okay, I don't think we need to talk to Jewel. So let's uh, pick the lock to the lock room. I'm in. So let's focus on that then. Ah, it's Thomas. Dr. Thomas, how come you're here by yourself? I thought this was an assignment. I expected everybody to be here. I overheard Katie and Esme talking about going to the store to buy a set of lockpicks. And of course, Mr. More Rogue. Than thou, so she figured he's too good at everything to need any practice. I think it's more likely that Mr. Cairo is the expert. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk to Thomas. How are things going for you? Rather well, thanks. I've been helping Esme overcoming her reading difficulties with the master's way of speaking and handwriting. I can understand why she has problems understanding the master's test questions. I had trouble understanding them. The master doesn't make it easy for any of us. You seem to take our disbarred bards lessons so seriously, always doing exactly what the master asks. It doesn't seem very roguish of you. But wouldn't the master get angry if we don't do what he wants us to do? He's a rogue too, isn't he? I'm not sure he wants us to be good, obedient little children. You may be right. Uh, ask about Sosi. Oh, what do you think of Sosi's brag in class? Sosi goes out of his way to... Uh, uh, integrate himself with the master. I'm not sure that he's getting away with it. You mean that Von Erwald can see through Sosi too? From the way the master looks whenever Sosi speaks up in class, I think the master knows that Sosi is a two-faced psychopath. Then I can't wait for the day when the master shows Sosi exactly how the master feels about him. Ask about lockpicks. Do you understand how lockpicks work? I've been studying the beginner's guide to lockpicks, and it seems straightforward. I just need to practice to teach my hands how to put that knowledge to use. Okay, have fun. So we're going to try. to. So apparently the easiest locks are on the table. Let's have the lock. Looks like a pretty basic lock. We have been practicing and we have been reading about lock picking. If practice makes perfect, then why can't I open this dumb thing? Okay. Well, let's practice then. 
says locker number two practice lock picking for an hour my knees are getting tired tool use increase uh so what do we have right now it's 12. we may need like 20 or something like that uh let's do it once more i guess that's going to bring us to supper time lock picking seems like it's something that we really need though uh tool use increase i'll try it pick the lock Stupid, stubborn lock. I almost broke my pick on it. Well then, uh, still not time for supper, so let's practice again. What's the actual task, though? Poor puppy. To do dress for success. Well, I'm wearing the official school uniform now, at least as far as I know. Uh, achievements, uh, diary. Uh, we're supposed to practice our lock picking. At least class was short, okay. So I should have enough time to do this once more and then head up for supper. This one seems trickier than most. There's the bell. Again, I'm hoping we can run fast enough to get up there. We don't have a ton of time. Seems like we just warp there uh, if we don't make it there ourselves. It's quarter two, so we only need to make it past one more screen. Okay, time goes by fairly quickly. And let's go to the dining hall. Open the door. So we want to work at least two more evenings in the uh, dining hall. Uh, that way we are sure to have enough money for uh, the card game. At the end of the week. We don't want to hit up the dungeon today, because, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, health only comes back a little bit each night. You don't get completely healed. All right, uh, talk to her. Uh, ask about her day. Ask about work and... It's got to be an easier way to make money, no doubt. Uh, good work, good work. Okay, see you later. Uh, so it's 8 o'clock. We're not going to be going to the dungeon. So let's go and see about What's our skills. Charm, perception, defense, gaming. Magic is five. Haven't seen anything from magic yet. Uh, let's go to the rec room and see if there's any of our classmates hanging out there. So we'll need to look at some of these uh, statues. Relax, since he was. Oh, <clears throat> relax. Since was since when was fretting ever made anything better? What difference does it make if your grades are poor? Oh my God, ask me. Uh, it's not like a degree in disbarred bards. It's going to look good on a job resume. Assuming I do not get expelled for poor grades, then worry about that when it happens. For now, play a game of cards or something. All right. Uh, can play darts, maybe? Let's talk to Sosie. Talk to him. You are a very irritating person. Go bother someone else. Uh, say goodnight. Look forward to our next meeting. <laughs> okay, I can be flippant too. I want Esme to... Well, I want her to join me in the drat hunt. Of all the people here in the school, I am thinking that you are getting better and better. At least you look like it. Ah, I want to make a good impression. Talk to Esme. I am sure we can find a way for you to do better on the next test. I hope you are right. Uh, ask about her. Are you still worried about the disbarred bard test? Katie's right, it's not worth it. Relax, enjoy yourself. You understand the lessons in class? You'll do better next time. So why are you taking this so hard? I have always been a good learner. I tried very hard to do well on the test, but I failed. I do not want to fail again. Thomas said that he will tutor me on the test. 
Now that you have talked to him about it, you're a good friend, Sean. Uh, cheer her up. Say something. Uh, charm is up there, so we'll try charming. Uh, why don't you, Katie, and I go over to the card table and you could show us some of those card tricks you can do. You have the fastest hands I've ever seen. It will be fun to see what you can do. Hey, beats him open. Maybe you can teach us a card trick or two. Ask me like that. I can do that. It's easy. Easy for you, maybe. Uh, gaming increased. Thanks for showing us those tricks. You're very talented. I will be happy to show you other ways people cheat at cards. My people are very good at spotting frauds because we know what to look for. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if certain people in this room right now regularly cheat at Pooba. So see, he is not good enough to cheat. Cairo, he is very good. We should all watch him very carefully. Uh, should we try it again? Doesn't seem to be a downside, so... I don't think Asmi's in the mood to flirt. Okay, so even Sean shot that down. Good night, Sean. Thank you for trying to help me. Uh, let's talk to Katie. You're looking smart today. Well, smarter at least. Thanks, you're looking good too. But then again, you always look good, Sean. Talk to Katie. Maybe you can cheer Asmi up. It's silly to be so upset about a stupid quiz. Uh, ask about her. I see that you did pretty well on the test. Did you study for it? Who needs to study? The master's quiz is more like solving puzzles than trying to remember a bunch of stupid facts. You just need to figure out what he wants to hear. Uh, talk about helping her. Esme's your roommate, isn't she? Maybe you could help her study for tests. Studying is a waste of time. You either get what the master is saying or you don't. Esme needs to relax. It was just a quiz. Um, yeah, we're not going to try that. Challenge her to... It's, uh, yeah, it's 9 o'clock. So we'll go back to our room. We'll study a couple of times, especially lockpicking. Uh, since we seem to be super weak at that. And hopefully we can get to a point where we can unlock the locks on the table. I'm curious if, like, what the major story elements are going to be from this point forward, because, uh, it's starting to get a little bit into a, a grind. Uh, but there are still story beats and stuff, uh, you know, the thing with, the. Uh, Thing with Esme not doing well on the uh, test and whatnot. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Um, is that the same painting that was there before? Like a dog with a cannon. Look at the painting. It says it's a portrait of Mopi the Magnificent. He clearly, he's clearly a mechanized mutt and a steampunked steam punked puppy. Look at the painting. Uh, Move the painting. Painting is firmly attached to the wall. I guess they think rogues are art collectors. All right. Open the door. Maybe our roommate is actually awake this time. Asleep again. Dude's kind of bum me, bumming me out with that. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, yes, we're going to our desk. Study our lessons. Lock picking. Tool use increased. Smarts increased. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. I can study once more. Class notes. That's just going to increase our smarts. We're going to be smart and charming. I think that's we're going to be like a hand solo type rogue. All right. Uh, go to sleep. Again, at some point, I need to like take a short nap and kind of sneak about the castle at night. As I was saying, I trust that you have all taken the opportunity to master the basics of picking locks. With the technique in the instruction manual, you should be able to pick the basic locks on houses and small chests. For the more complex lock, you will need a combination of this skill with more advanced tools. Ooh. Master Von Erwald, there was a series of thefts last night at the school. Several barn students reported that their instruments were taken from the practice room. The receptionist is missing all her pens and paper. The pantry in the kitchen was raided and a bushel of apples was taken. This is clearly an act of one of your students. That's what happens when you gather a group of scallywags and criminals in one place. Hurt Turk, I sincerely doubt that any rogue would stoop to pilfering, stationery, or apples. Who other than you rogues would steal? If these thefts don't stop and the items are not returned where they belong, then I will be forced to speak with the headmaster about expelling every student in this class. They're obviously a little bit they're obviously a little better than common criminals. I shall address the matter myself. Thank you, Mortimer. See that you do, Gerhardt, or the headmaster will take action. Maybe we have to find this. 
It seems we have been called upon to play the role of detective. It would be a good use of your skills of observation and stealth for you to uncover the petty theft who besmirches your reputation. Do what you can to solve the mystery. It would demonstrate to Herr Turk that rogues have a place at the school, thereby annoying him to no end. The honor of the rogue class must be restored. I shall find the thief and prove to the headmaster that rogues are true heroes. And I give this guy a different accent every time. See that you do, Herr Sussi. In class. Uh, so how are we supposed to do this? Let's take a look at her journal. Uh, more work. We're supposed to practice lockpicking. Oh, this one. Someone stealing stuff around school. Rogues get blamed. Well, if Sosie wants to play a detective, I hope that the thief gets caught. Let's talk to Joel. Mr. Turk seems rather perturbed by all the thefts. I'm rather curious to whether his indignation, there we go, of such immoral activities exceeded his exhilaration at the possibility of disbanding the disbarred bards. Talk with Joel. It's good to see that you've been taking such an interest in your appearance. Man, people really care about my appearance. Thanks, I'm going for the dress for excess style. Uh, see what he thinks about the thefts. Much of what the thief has stolen has been worthless. Things no fence would be interested in carrying. Other than that, I do not know what's going on. Uh, what have you heard? I know that they have taken place throughout the school, including a few areas which I have been unable to access because of magical wards. It's possible that the thief or thieves have magical abilities or item. Items. It's also possible that the thief uses secret passageways, which I am unaware. Ooh. So why is Turk so against the disbarred bards class? I believe that we offend his delicate notions of how heroes should act. Then again, it fairly, it's fairly obvious that Master Von Erwald and Mr. Turk do not see eye to eye in matters. Uh, one has been overheard calling the other a petty bureaucrat with delusions of competency who overcompensates for his lack of intelligence with his bullying and authoritarian dictatorship. As for the other, I believe that his he believes that his antagonist is washed up, has been criminal, who is undoubtedly wanted for hanging in several kingdoms as a common thief. Uh, got anything new? Useful devices. First is a trap that you can set on the ground. Anything that steps on it will be damaged and held for several rounds. The second object is a bottle of gooey. It's a sticky substance that you pour on floors, which, like the trap, will hold anything walking upon it. Unlike the trap, it will hold an opponent for the moment, but it does not slow. But it does slow their movement. Okay, so it, it will hold them for a second, and slows them down. One bottle has ten applications. Uh, you can put down several small pools in a row. Even better, after a few hours, the gooey dries up and can't be seen can be useful under a variety of circumstances. I have to sell you some. Uh, okay, how much is it? Browse the shop. Yeah, I think a dog would like. Gooey. Gooey is 10. I do want to make sure that we have enough uh, dosh at the end, though, of the week. So we can uh, pick the lock. We can get into the card game. Because I'm really disappointed we didn't get into it last week. Again, uh, I'm pretty sure I've misstepped several times with this playthrough, but that's fine. Tools broken still. Okay, so we need to practice some more. Locker 5. Practice lock picking. Think I'm getting it. Good. Uh, what time is it? Four. Okay. Try it again. Seems like it's going to be super useful uh, near the end of the game. Uh, quarter to five. Let's try one of the locks. Not quite up to snuff. Uh, let's see, how are we doing with that? It's at 18? Again, I think we have to be probably at level 20. That's my guess. Uh, it's 5 o'clock. So we do have enough time to squeeze in one last thing, I think. Oh, I'm glad I came here. The thief is stealing all sorts of odds and ends from around the school. I'm certain that the thief isn't one of us. 
pretty sure it isn't another student. Why do you say that? Thomas is right. Something strange is running around the castle at night. I have heard movement in the holidays sometime after midnight. Maybe tonight is the night that we uh, just take a short nap. Though I heard something last night, but there was nothing in the corridor when I looked at it. Could it be a ghost? Why would a ghost steal pencils and food? No, the thief. It is alive. Well, we should talk to you folks then. Talk to ask me. So what do you think the thief is doing running around in the middle of night in our hallway? Stealing things, maybe? It's very late. Most people are asleep. It smells like apples in the hallway after a thief goes by. Steal bath, steals bad things and runs off. Is odd. Uh, polite. You know, ask me, I bet if you and I were to team up to find the thief. Oh, no, you don't. If anyone teams up with ask me, it will be me. You can have a three-way team. I did not think I would be so popular. They're always popular with me, ask me. Uh, let's get to know her. Uh, how would you go about catching the thief? I have my vase. Maybe you can sniff him out with your wolf thing. I still say she's a wolf. Maybe it's a big uh, red herring, though. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Because uh, that's the end of the episode for me. Hey, if you liked what you saw, think about liking the video. Think about subscribing to the channel. We're done for today. We'll see you next time. Take care. Have yourself a great day.